not too much sun now. And it's freaking cold, I have to tell you. I, th I think uh, what one thing, one positive side of the isolation is uh, getting to know people, your co-workers better, because you have a look how they, how they, uh, how their house looks, uh, what pictures they have hanging on the wall. It's really you get a little bit more personal feeling about them. That's that's what I like about it. And what really surprises me is that we are we are really able to work like that for yeah. now almost three yeah. weeks. Um, I mean, if we wanted to, we could even do remote editing or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we if we only had uh, an application in the web um, allowing us to do remote editing, Carson, wouldn't that be nice in the that isolation? Would be, that would be cool. I mean, that would not only benefit in the situation now, but um, especially with the entire um, setups today, people working across locations, across countries, this would be a really great solution if you would have something like this. I mean, if, if you look at LinkedIn nowadays, uh, every second post is about how you uh, how you still work during these times and keep up your business continuity. And it's it's the web access uh, are booming, the, the, the Zoom or and different applications, but also how people keep up their their work in the in the production area. I mean, I, I think that this will change um, the, the thinking in, in, in lots lots of companies. Um, as I've heard once in the in, in the radio, never never waste a crisis. It's it's about making making the best out of it and maybe rethink some of your um, approaches about the business that you had until the crisis, maybe to do it differently afterwards. And maybe yeah. remote editing is, is one of the things. Might even be that uh, this gives a little bit more um, um, more creativity uh, to the users working from home, editing from home, um, maybe. So it yeah. might have um, unforeseen effects, um, as bad as it is, but uh, might have some effects. I think one of the the fascinating things that's that's happened in the last couple of weeks. I mean, we have as a company. I mean, almost everybody's working from home, right? I mean certainly within our departments, but I mean, even in the broader Avato systems, but the the way that the the broadband network has has kind of sustained itself, certainly in the UK, has been actually quite impressive. I, I, I did think, I mean, I'm, I work from home most of the time, so I'm used to having quite fast broadband speeds, and I did expect that it was going to get really tricky, and the access to the files in the office and all the rest of it has been would be tricky, but but actually the bandwidth's been pretty well sustained. So if you think about you know our model for for remote editing with the way that we use the streaming server and that streaming technology to to keep, to keep all files in central location and stream it out to the clients, I think you know you can kind of see yeah that's actually going to work even when the whole world's working from home. I think that's that's one of the things that I found quite interesting the last week and 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 the way things have survived. The way yesterday we had that Teams meeting with. Um, there were 200 odd people, I think, on one of those courses. So that was, yeah, I mean, nearly flawless. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And if, if if somebody would have told me that uh, editing in the browser, uh, we are relatively low bandwidth connections would work. Uh, I don't know, five years ago, I would have said no. But um, that's it seems it seems to work really, and we are we are we are launching launching the product, and and it's it's working. So. Um, yeah, quite interesting, but quite, quite impressive. Yeah, and also, I mean, bandwidth is of course one one aspect, but also having the the flexibility um, to to do this, um, make the subscription, um, use the product for a certain time, and then also maybe um, upgrade or cancel your subscription for 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 a certain uh, time. This was also not not possible. And when I'm thinking about uh, Holger, would love to hear this about his famous uh, P client, where we spent, I don't know, days um, in, in installing it and deploying it and configuring it. Um, nowadays, we have the web web solution, which will be um, available on on a few clicks. This is, I think, also quite quite a game changer. It struck me the other week, and, and I've been thinking about a lot of things. Without saying too much, we have a quite a few kind of um, launches coming up this this year around. 
uh, VidiNet and bringing applications to VidiNet. And the first one is is Media Editor, which we wouldn't be talking about at NAB. We are going to be talking about not at NAB. Um, and yeah, it, there's kind of something that makes a little bit sense about launching that in the cloud, not in a physical place. I think that's kind of one of the things that that that, that I've been thinking about a lot is is um, yeah. How do you best demonstrate a cloud product in a trade show anyway? And actually, if you don't have a trade show, how do you launch a product without it? And I think, um, yeah, I think that's one of the interesting things that that, that may come out of this is, um, yeah, having to think of a new way of, it's not just a new way of deployment, but a new way of going to market with it as well. And indeed, the last cloud trade show we did, um, the infrastructure backend side was everything was in the cloud. And all we had was these little, little, um, PCs to connect to the monitors, that has changed quite drastically. And also the flexibility. I mean, if you launch a product now and then in the cloud, uh, it's about the flexibility to spin that up, spin that down, uh, add some users, and especially during these times, I mean, yeah. uh, setting up something urgently, uh, it's about days, yeah. uh, just clicking it in the cloud instead of um, having to deploy some, some infrastructure where somebody has to be physically present. Of course, that doesn't work during these times. That has changed quite dramatically, and I, I remember when when I joined uh, uh, all the discussions around the cloud and where the industry is going and what the cloud means for the industry and how natural that now feels. Uh, of course, it's a cloud product. It's deployed in the cloud. It runs in the browser. That's almost, there's no discussion around that anymore, and that's um, that's within a relatively short time span. That's, that's um, quite astonishing to see. I'm looking forward to the pool, but also to the to the meat meat and more meat pizza. <laughs>